Hi, I'm Jenna Kelly, and you're watching the Green Girl Minute, and I am thrilled to have with me Mike Kaplan, the CEO of Aspen Skiing Company, and today we're at the Aspen Institute at the Four of the Forest Symposium, which is connecting the dots between climate change and forest health. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing great. It's a great symposium and a, and a beautiful setting. Yes, definitely. Well, thanks so much for talking to us. I know Aspen Skiing Company is such a leader and, you know, pushing the envelope and going green. And I just wanted to quickly talk to you. What are what are you all focusing on right now? And what are some exciting green things you all are doing? Um, obviously, the we work hard on, on the environmental front. And we do it on a year round basis every day. Uh, we try to look at it uh, at a number of different levels, sort of uh, locally, regionally, nationally, globally, and um, maybe a couple things locally. One, um, you've been seeing us working hard on uh, locally sourcing, uh, especially our food products. And so this year uh, we recently announced uh, that we're going 100% locally grown ground beef. So uh, all the cattle come from local, local ranches, they're grass fed, they're humanely treated, uh, they're, they're close by, you don't have these big transport costs and, and transport impacts. And, uh, and it tastes better. So that's a ton of fun. And, and it's, it's interesting because it's not only an environmental story, it's a community story. It's good mm -hmm. for the community, good for the community's economy, um, good for open space, and, um, and again, good quality. So all the restaurants on the mountain have locally ground beef? Yep, that's correct. All of our on-mountain mm -hmm. restaurants. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I also heard the uh, Ski Patrol headquarters on Highlands is run by solar panels. Is that true? Yep, that's, uh, there's a really nice solar panel up there. It's, we think it's the most photographic, so, uh, most photographed solar array uh, in just about anywhere because you've got the, the beautiful maroon bells in the background. And that's an important reason why we put them up there uh, is to really make that statement, mm -hmm. uh, to provide that sort of background. And then, and then those photos, uh, they, get, they get shared throughout the world through different, different magazines and whatnot mm -hmm. and try to send the message of, you know, you can do something and, and use this as a model or an example of what you can do mm -hmm. at home or at your workplace or wherever. That's very true. So it's also to inspire and get people motivated to act. And I also heard you are doing some energy efficiency upgrades, and I know you made some to the Little Nell and some other buildings. Yeah, energy efficiency is a, a, a huge ongoing uh, effort for us. Uh, they say uh, nationally that there's most companies and most households have a 30% energy efficiency opportunity just by walking around and improving insulation in your roofs and, and windows and those types of things. So. Mm -hmm. We have over 300 buildings, uh, we've got over 40 lifts, uh, we have the snowmaking and all those things going on. And so we're really looking under every rock, looking for energy efficiency mm -hmm. uh, in everything we do from light bulbs to, to snowmaking and, and uh, it's a big effort and, and so far so good, we're making great progress. Wow, well, very impressive green things you all are doing and thanks again for talking to us today and enjoy the rest of the symposium. Uh, thanks so much and tune back into the Green Girl Minute in just a moment.